Welcome to the Monty Collier Report. I'm Monty Collier. The Protestant Reformed Churches, PRC for short, attack the Bible and reject sola scriptura when they teach that Bible reading is not a means of grace for those people God has chosen unto salvation. This evil PRC heresy must surely bring a smile to the Pope's face. For the devil himself knows that if he can convince people that Bible reading is not effectual unto salvation, then the Dark Ages will be upon us once again. David J. Engelsma, leading theologian of the PRC, writes the following, and I quote, The Reformed faith does not consider the mere reading of Scripture by the Church to be a means of grace. End quote. Bound to join, page 137. Now, as you consider the words I just quoted from David J. Engelsma, let me be perfectly clear. David Engelsma is lying. He's trying to deceive you with these words. The Bible itself contradicts this evil PRC teaching. Holy Scripture testifies that Bible reading is a means of grace. See Second Chronicles chapter 34, verses 18 through 33. It was the reading of Scripture that launched the Reformation in King Josiah's age. And it was the reading of Scripture that launched the Protestant Reformation in the 1500s. Let me remind the listener that it was Martin Luther who was converted while reading the Bible. Again, for the sake of clarity and emphasis, the Reformed faith teaches that the reading of Scripture is a means of grace. The idea that a sinner can pick up the Bible in the privacy of his or her own home out of the presence, away from any ordained priest or elder, read the Bible and be converted is a notion which is despised by the papacy as well as men like David J. Anglesma and the Protestant Reformed churches. Think about it. How can men be dominated by priestcraft if they hold to Calvinist ideas like private individual judgment, the universal priesthood of all believers, and that the Holy Scripture is always effectual to convert God's elect, be it read, preached, or even sung. Jesus himself states, quote, The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life, end quote. John chapter 6, verse 63. Notice Jesus did not say that the words he speaks become life when they are preached by an official minister in a specific institutional church. He didn't say that. No, Jesus did not hold to some neo-orthodox nonsense. He did not hold to some sacerdotal garbage, nor was Jesus a proponent of the so-called high church view. To the contrary, Jesus Christ testified that the words found in our Bible are life. They are always effectual, regardless if they are read, preached, or sung. The Protestant Reformed churches wish us to believe that the Bible cannot save sinners unless it is picked up and preached by one of their official ministers. This is why David J. Anglesma claimed that the mere reading of Scripture is not a means of grace. The Westminster Larger Catechism, greatest of the Reformed Presbyterian catechisms, absolutely contradicts this evil teaching of the Protestant Reformed Churches when it states, and I quote, How doth it appear that the Scriptures are the Word of God? Answer, 
the scriptures manifest themselves to be the word of God by their majesty and purity, by the consent of all the parts and the scope of the whole, which is to give all glory to God, by their light and power to convince and convert sinners, to comfort and build up believers unto salvation. But the Spirit of God bearing witness by and with the Scriptures in the heart of man is alone able fully to persuade it that they are the very Word of God." End quote. Notice that the Westminster Larger Catechism states clearly that the Bible is not only able to convert sinners, but that it alone converts them. So much for the high church nonsense. It is only word and spirit that converts God's elect. For men are saved by God's sovereign grace alone. Do you hear me, you madmen? Do you hear me, you servants of Satan? Listen carefully. Men contribute to nothing when it comes to the salvation of God's elect. Those who pretend that God needs sinful men to save sinners know not the Bible nor the gospel of Jesus Christ. Martin Luther himself was saved not by listening to the preaching of some PRC elder not by sitting under the sermons of some Roman Catholic priest, but by studying the Bible alone. The Bible states the following, and I quote, And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. In quote, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, again, the Bible states, quote, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God and the salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. End quote. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. Notice that the Bible does not say that the gospel becomes the power of God and the salvation when it is preached, but rather it is is the power of God in the salvation, regardless if it is read or preached. The Bible is the power of God in the salvation, regardless if the elect individual reading it is a man, a woman, or even a child. Regardless if that individual is a member of an institutional church or not was the reading of scripture that converted King Josiah and caused the great reformation in his time and land. Go check it out. Read 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verses 18 through 33. The Westminster Larger Catechism again contradicts the evil teaching of the Protestant Reformed churches when it states the following and I quote, How is the word made effectual unto salvation? Answer, the Spirit of God maketh the reading, but especially the preaching of the Word, an effectual means of enlightening, convincing, and humbling sinners, of driving them out of themselves, and drawing them unto Christ, of conforming them to His image, and subduing them to His will, of the strengthening them against temptations and corruptions, or building them up in grace, and establishing their hearts in holiness and comfort through faith unto salvation." End quote. The Bible is made up of law and gospel. Both law and gospel are made up of words. These words can be read quietly by yourself, or they can be read aloud. But they are always effectual to convert the elect or to harden the reprobate. The Bible never ceases to be effectual. For the Bible itself testifies, quote, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, 
but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, end quote. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. The Protestant Reformed churches and their evil teaching, and it is evil, remind us of those papist whores who would try and convince the people that Bible reading and study are ineffectual and that the people should simply rely solely and mindlessly on priestcraft. Is the Bible to be received and believed because some priest, because some guy who is an elder says from his pulpit that we should believe it? Is that why we should believe it? Because some priest told us? Because some preacher told us, no, no it's not. The Westminster Confession of Faith, greatest of all reform confessions, states truly the following, and I quote, The authority of the Holy Scripture, for which it ought to be believed and obeyed, dependeth not upon the testimony of any man or church but wholly upon God who is truth itself the author thereof and therefore it is to be received because it is the word of God end quote